Hey y'all, I'm Angie. Welcome to my channel where I do stuff. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. In today's video, I am down at Whiskey Bridge, which is also known as the Stone City Formation. And I am on, getting attacked by mosquitoes, but I am on the edge of Burleson and Brazos County. Now, this is a very well known location, which is one of the reasons why I feel comfortable sharing it here. But, um, I have come down in a different area than I usually do. I'm sorry for all the smacking. Uh, I came down in an area different from where I usually come down because the river changes so fast that erosion erosion is a really big problem. And because of that, you can't always come down the bank the same way that you did last time. And that was this case. Anyway, I'm hoping to find some pretty good uh, Eocene marine specimens. And if we get lucky, maybe I will find shark's teeth. Um, I found a couple down here before. Uh, not really high return on my investment considering how much time I've spent down here. But that's okay. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and find some today. There's a little bit more water in the river today than when I usually come down. So I have to be careful because the erosion has been so bad that anything I drop will go right in the water. <laughs> so anyway, come along. Okay, so one thing that contributes to the erosion is uninformed, miseducated, uneducated people. So a lot of people hear that this is a location for fossil shells and they come here expecting to find like the stuff you find on the beach at Galveston or Freeport. And that's just not what you're gonna find. So instead of digging out three feet worth of bank, look at what's already on the ground. You're going to find shells and they're gonna be good ones, but they're tiny. And so knowing that, these are the only things you really need to pick things up here. A dental tool would probably be good and tweezers. This is basically the only two tools you will ever use if you want to get fossils from this location. So just be aware of that. Don't destroy stuff for no reason. So to give you an idea, these are the type of shells that are most common. Well, I mean, not this particular species, but this size is what is most common around here. And you can just find these laying, like you don't have to dig them out of rock. That's the point I'm making. <laughs> So I just found a piece of, I can't remember the name. Again, this is a species whose name I can't remember, but I will put it up in the corner for you. Here's one here that was loose. And there is another one right here that I'm gonna have to dig out. And if you look closely, I just noticed one of my favorite corals is right here. Got that out. And I got my coral out. So just to give you a little bit of an idea, all of this is ancient seabed. Doing research on fossil locations before you go out, if possible, is important. And here's why. Because I just found this. This is not fossilized. But because all the shells out here are so delicate, sometimes it's hard to tell if something is technically a fossil. If you know what you're looking for when you come out here, you would recognize that this is a modern snail. And I haven't been this way really ever because the water's always been up too high. So I don't really see a whole lot of stuff in it, but we're still gonna walk. Here's one of my favorites called an athleta. Oh, that's not perfect, but it sure is pretty. So I just found this paper. It was folded up tighter than that, but it was down here. It looks like somebody, it looks like somebody had written out some prayers or something, and maybe they meant to put it in the river and it didn't quite make it. 
I don't know. I'll read it later. It's too windy. You can see it's been here a while. So I've gotten to a part of the river that I've never been to before because it's never been accessible. You can see where the water line usually is. I guess I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes and see what I can find. I found a Venera Cardia. I need to get that out. There's another Athleta. There's another Athleta. And uh, there's just a whole lot of little pretty olives. Those are kind of hard to find on the other side. So I'm gonna sit here for a while and dig. I'll let you know what I find. And by dig, I mean pick. I've, <laughs> I'm not actually digging anything. Here's one called a Distorsia, I believe. Okay, so something I just found right here, it's called an otolith. This is something that is not focusing. It is a fish ear bone. Okay, so I was completely uh, wrong earlier. Um, I said that I found turbinolia. This is a turbinolia, not whatever it was I showed you. I can't remember what that was, but I'll put the name up on the screen for you. This is a turbinolia. They're much smaller and conical. I don't know what this is, but it's kind of big. Ah, oh, it's a conus shell. I have had a very hard time finding these big in any kind of condition. So the fact that, I mean, yeah, this one's a little beat up, but like, they're hard to find in whole pieces on that other side. So this is kind of cool. Here is another cone shell. I'm hoping it's in good shape. That looks like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, not too bad. Still better than most of the ones I found. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know how I'm doing. I just found a whole bunch of really nice specimens. Whoops, you can't even see what I'm doing. This is one of the biggest distorsios I've ever found. But I have a feeling this is where I'm gonna spend the rest of my day because I see beautiful pieces all along here. I just found this worm-eaten conus. Look how cool that is. That, that is a really cool specimen. So I cannot remember the name of this. I am sliding. It is an actual shell of some kind. Can't remember the name of it. As usual, I'll put the name up in the corner for you. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Totally out of focus. Okay, so this is the first one I'm gonna try to dig out. Hopefully it'll be okay. And then there's another one right here. So it is pretty broken, but there are some pieces that were still down inside there, but not bad. That one was broken before it was ever deposited, right there, because there aren't any other pieces under it. So I bet this looks really cool when there's a lot of water, when they're pumping out the irrigation. I would love to go up there, but we're not doing that. We're not even gonna try. But I am gonna walk all the way around here and see what I can find. It looks like there's a conus sticking out right there. Look at that beautiful log. We're gonna have to go around to get a picture of that if nothing else, but yep, that's what that is. It's just kind of broken. Yeah, there was no way that was gonna come out whole. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, let's keep looking. We may find some that we can get out painlessly. I don't think I need to dig anything. Here's another ear stone, ear bone. There's a 
there's enough erosion down here where I can just rake through what's already down here. I don't need to cause any more problems. And I know that comes from the irrigation of the crops that are up there. But I don't need to make it worse. Because there's stuff in here. I found several shells in here as well. So... I don't know. I'm going to keep looking around this. But, uh... I don't think there's any real need to. So I'm not sure where this came from. I mean, obviously they put construction stuff down here to help with the erosion and the amount of water flow. And there is some kind of old pipe or drain, but that is really cool. That's like... I wish I could take it home. That was intentional. I can't be sure, but that looks like a giant coral. <gasps> Hell yeah. Look at that. Good job, Angie. And it looks like here's another one. Yep. I do love my, my coral. Remember how I said that ear bones have a tendency to be grouped? Well, there's one right there. There's one right there. There's a little one right there. And there's another one right there. So I'm just raking through this. Out of the corner of my eye, I keep seeing that valve. And I keep thinking there's someone standing there looking down at me. But this is why I was saying you don't need to erode things because I just found this giant one. I have never found one this size. It's not in the perfect condition. But I've the only ones I've ever found, some of the biggest ones I've ever found, I found today until this. And that was just from digging or using a rake through all of this that was already eroded. So if you decide to come out here, do not just dig into the bank. You can find everything you need by just using small little tools. I don't know, I can't remember how many times I'd been down here. I never even like brought a shovel because everything you want to find, you can find already eroded out. There, it's not that heavily hunted. The people who do come here typically don't know what they're looking for. So they pass over all the really cool small stuff. These are relatively hard to find long and in one piece. You can find them, but they're usually broken off real short. So that's a cool one. That's a good one. So I was starting to leave and I see there's a conus right here. I'm gonna try to get that out. I mean, yeah, it's like super smoothed, super smoothed off, but it's all in one piece. So. I'm definitely keeping that one. I usually think foam is pretty gross. Like, that doesn't even look right. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. <sighs> Not terrible. So I was just saying I was going to increase my odds by going down into the shade, and then I just saw this up here. I can't even get to it, so I'm gonna have to dig with my walking stick. So wish me luck. Wow. Wow. And there's an athleta next to it. I don't know why I like those so much, but wow. Okay. Nice point. All right. I still need to go get in the shade so I have a better opportunity to see things though because I've got the sun right in my face. Okay, so remember when I was talking about the shell that was kind of like in the, in the hard mud that was like a shell I didn't really have? Here's one <laughs> and it's complete. 
So I'm excited about that. There's a conus right next to it. I don't have a lot of the good cone shells either. So if you're wondering why I'm geeking out on the, on the cone shells, that's why. I'm happy about that, but you can only get down here when the water's super low. Um, I get uh, USGS alerts sent to my cell phone. Um, so I know when the water drops below a certain level at this highway and the river. So are you kidding me? No way did they just erode out like that. Seriously? That's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You could have been doing anything you wanted to today and you chose to spend a few of those minutes with me and it really does mean the most. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did then I hope you'll consider subscribing because I would love to see you back here next week when I do more stuff. Bye!